Hi, everyone, and welcome to FivePointsBlue.com. I'm Kelsey Charles, joined by Nita Shrikanth, and we're here with your social recap for the week to let you know what is trending here in Cowboys Nation. Obviously, the Cowboys clinched the NFC mm-hmm. East with a win last week against the Indianapolis Colts, but they didn't stop there. They continued to finish the fight and got out with a win this past weekend in Washington, and it was a big game, to say the least. Yeah, they kept the momentum going. Huge game for the team, finishing strong, ending the season on a 4-0 winning streak. Four games left, got to go get it, right? Yep, so not only did the team finish strong, there were several players that finished strong as well, setting and breaking multiple records throughout the game. We need to start off with who did it first. Yeah, DeMarco Murray started, uh, came into the game needing only 29 yards uh, to surpass Emmett Smith's single-season uh, rushing record uh, in Cowboys history, which he ended up doing in the first half, as you can see here. He, he surpassed Emmett. Emmett, during the game, sent out a congratulatory tweet to DeMarco, who then followed up with, um, his own uh, appreciation to Emmett Smith after the so game. So that means that DeMarco Murray has 1,844 yards on the year, which is pretty impressive. Like you oh, said, 29 absolutely. yards going into the game. Kind of cool that it's his number, and that's the number of no- yards that he needs. So fun fact for all you guys out there. But the record-breaking didn't stop there. Number 88 had some records to break himself. Yeah, Des Bryant came into the game with 14 receiving touchdowns on the season. Darrell Owens in 2007 had 15 touchdowns in a single season. So within the first half as well, on back-to-back plays, uh, uh, DeMarco broke the rushing record. And then the next play right after that, Des Bryant got his 16th touchdown of the season and broke the uh, single-season record. That's pretty cool, too. Tony Romo had a great game himself, finishing the year with the top quarterback rating in the NFL, 113.2, 113.2, a point above Aaron Rodgers. The two have been going back and forth. So pretty impressive performance oh, yeah. from all three of those guys, to say the least. But Oh, yeah, absolutely. So the finish the fight has been one of the, th- the themes of this playoff season. Fight has been a theme throughout the whole entire year since training camp. Some of the players kind of took that to heart, though, during yeah. this game. Either what happened? Pierre Garçon took, had a little cheap shot on linebacker Kyle Wilbur. And then Orlando Sandrick uh, had stood up for his teammate, basically, and went after Garcon and was like basically telling him, don't ever touch my teammate like that. Yeah, you know, I was not a huge fan of the fight mm-hmm. itself because although I totally imbibed Orlando Sandrick standing by his mm-hmm. guy, I thought it was great. I was a little worried because I was like, I don't want him to get in trouble and we not be able to have him for the yeah, next game. But absolutely. thankfully that didn't happen to a guy that we haven't been able to have mm-hmm. is number 50, Sean Lee. And he was right there with some of his linebacker buddies who had a pretty good game themselves, yeah. wasn't he? Bruce Carter had two interceptions during the game and uh, Sean John Lee was uh, made the first trip of the season with the team. It was good moral support. He's showing great leadership as the team heads into the playoffs. But uh, how about Bruce Carter with two interceptions during the game? Actually gave the two, both of the interception balls to his parents after the game. That's pretty powerful. cool. He's got five for the year now, so he leads the team in interceptions. Not a bad performance for number 54 himself. Mm-hmm. But obviously the Cowboys came out big with a huge mm-hmm. win in Washington, showing no mercy, making a statement, 44-17, to 17, not a bad way to end the year, huh? Not bad at all. Four-game winning streak. We've got four more wins to go. 8-0 on the road, 12-4 and four for the year. Seattle and Arizona both would have had to lose in order for the Cowboys to get a bye, but only Arizona lost. So that means the Detroit Lions head to Texas this Sunday, 3.40 Central Time at AT&T Stadium for the wild card playoff game to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Can't wait. All right. Well, we're looking forward to the Cowboys finishing the fight. That's all I've got time for you guys here today. That's what's trending here in Cowboys Nation. And uh, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. We'll see you guys next year. Yeah.